Hello, my name is Jonas. In this two-part video series, I will talk about how I edit my videos. In this first part, I will talk about remote editing. In the second part, I will talk about my studio setup. So, I use DaVinci Resolve 15 to edit my videos. I've been using it for quite a while for color grading and quite recently switched it over from Adobe Premiere for editing. DaVinci Resolve is uh, available as a free program and also as a paid studio version. So if you want full functionality you have to pay, uh, I think it's about 300 US dollars, which is quite cheap for what you get. It used to be quite more expensive. So for daily tasks I use uh, this computer. It's a late 2012 MacBook Pro 13 inch and for video editing it does not cut it. I edited a few videos in Premiere on this laptop but it's quite a pain even when you work in HD and with DaVinci Resolve you have to have dedicated graphics for it to work well. So to go around that I use uh, a software called HPRGS which uh, is short for remote graphic software from HP. This program is based on software that uh, from the beginning were used by NASA to get images from the Mars rover in real time with low latency so they could control it and drive around on Mars. But this version of it, HPRGS, is basically a remote desktop software which is optimized for graphics uh, with good latency performance and high quality images. I really like this setup because I can edit videos from my laptop but I do it on my PC. So I can have a nice laptop uh, and sit wherever I want, where I have good network Wi-Fi connection and still have a high performance computer uh, which is upgradable of course and uh, with all my storage uh, and still being able to edit from the laptop. With uh, HPRGS you can also, if you have a good enough internet connection uh, travel around in different countries and access your video editing machine from wherever you want. I think uh, the bandwidth you need to have is around 24 megabits per second to get uh, a pretty good image. You can have lower but the image quality will be uh, lesser or you will sacrifice latency or no, not latency, you will sacrifice the frame rate. So if you ever used a remote desktop software, HPRDS isn't much different in setting up. It's quite easy. The main things you have to think about is um, to match the resolution of the editing PC to the MacBook. So on the MacBook you have 16 by 10 aspect ratio. I guess most regular computer monitors are 16 by 9 like 1920 by 1080 uh, so if you don't have a 16 by 10 monitor connected to the PC you will have to use a program called CRU to make to force the PC to have 1920 by 1200 resolution now on the 13 inch MacBook Pro you don't have 1920 by 1200 and DaVinci Resolve I found works best with that resolution or higher so then you have to use the program called Switchress X to change the resolution and force it to be that high now the screen is a little bit too small but I found that works just good enough. Uh, it can be a little bit of a problem with small stuff. You have to like 
uh, look a bit extra. If you have the 15 inch MacBook Pro, you have a native resolution of 1920 by 1200. So it won't be a problem in that case. Now, of course, this setup is dependent on good network connection. If you have a bad network, uh, this won't work. You have to have a stable network, a good router, good Wi-Fi connection, and the benefits are that when I take my laptop in the morning and I sit in the sofa or the couch and uh, drink my morning tea, I can work for several hours. The computer, the laptop, it doesn't get hot. It draws very little battery compared to when if I would edit on a laptop. So I can work much longer uh, before I have to plug it into the charger. Also, I can access all my media because I have uh, multiple hard drives set up in RAID configuration on my PC. Now, it would be nice to have a higher spec laptop as well, so I can use the PC uh, when I do bigger work and uh, daily work, but use the laptop when I'm on the road. Also, if you have an older MacBook Pro, or another laptop for that case, and you think that you have to upgrade, you can think one more time about it and maybe build a cheaper PC and still use your laptop uh, and editing remotely on that one. Here in Sweden and in Europe, the new MacBook Pros are so expensive that you can build a very high performance PC much cheaper uh, than buying a new MacBook Pro, which also will, uh, I guess, be more reliable and make you benefit from all the, the CPU and graphics power because of heat management much better than a laptop. So if you're on a budget or if you need to have high performance, uh, I would suggest building a PC instead of buying an expensive laptop or both if you have the money that would be the ideal setup I think so the HPRDS software comes in at around 250 US dollars so it's not that cheap but you can get a 60 day trial and test for yourself and see if it fits your workflow in the next video I will talk more about how I implement this workflow with my studio setup and the hardware. Uh, please leave a comment if you have any questions or any thoughts. Till next time, bye.